It's really great that Bob has um, been able to take off his lampshade collar, um, but it's also an issue when I'm trying to sleep at night because he used to, like, stay upstairs, which is our living room and stuff like that, and just kind of sleep there all night. He didn't really want to wander around because when he's wearing this collar, he's bumping into everything. Um, but now that he's had his collar taken off for, like, over a week now, um, he's now decided, in the last few days at least, that he wants to wake me up early in the morning. Um, first it was around 6, then it was around 5, and last night it was around 4.15. Um, but he didn't actually, I don't know if he actually meowed, he actually just landed beside me on the bed. And I'm really happy that he's able to do that. He's too cute. I can't be mad at him. I just pet him and stuff like that. He didn't actually meow. And around 6, I'm kind of awake. So I usually wake up and have all the cats lined up and feed them. And the reason for that is that um, my roommate's cats are on a special diet. And so are mine. So they're two different diets. And, you know, we were hoping that they'd get used to that, and maybe they would get used to it if I wasn't feeding them um, and not getting them used to a schedule um, that I wake up at. But the thing is, is that since the vet's been telling me that my cat Bob, um, who is 19 or 20, we're not really sure, um, he keeps losing weight and stuff like that. For the past couple of months, he's been losing weight. And I think in my mind, well, you know, I have to do it for health reasons. I have to feed them, and I do. But the problem with that is is I'm really tired because I don't really sleep well during the day. Sometimes I have been, but in the last few days, I haven't been able to sleep during the day. I'm kind of a little more hyper, I guess, and um, it could be my bipolar or whatever. But, like, I'm taking my meds, so I don't go into like a full mania or anything like that and I did kind of have to take um my knockout pill about five or six days ago and it didn't really crap put me in a crash like I was kind of tired the next day and then the next day after that I felt fine and I bounced back so I've really been happy for about a week and a half now which is totally amazing I'm loving the sunlight we get here I'm thinking of as a joke, maybe moving to Arizona in the winter because I heard they don't get, like, sad there. Um, I don't have that diagnosis, but I tend to not do winter activities because I don't, I have agoraphobia, so I don't really go outside. That going to the pool thing, I was really excited. I was able to go to the pool with my roommate, but that's not normal. I usually hang around the yard. I go to the shop, like, to get food and I can get cat food, which is um, about a six-minute walk away, and um, I'm basically happy just being home all day. I rarely get bored. I watch my true crime, Wild About Trial, has all these trials that are televised in the United States. I know I'm Canadian, but we don't televise our trials, so I follow my local stuff on Twitter and also Wild About Trial in the States, and um, play with my cats, and I feel like I can handle myself okay. Um, I don't feel able to work. My doctor doesn't think I'm able to work. Um, so I just make the best of it, and um, I love the fact that I'm living where I'm living. I'm meeting a lot of neighbors because of my cats. When they get out, I get out, so it kind of helps me, um, because if I didn't have my cats, I'd be inside all the time. Why would I go out, except for if I'm going to the store, right? So, everything's still great.